Chrono. Chrono. Chrono, are you still sleeping? Honey, you'll be late for work. Oh, dear me. I'd forgotten how beautiful Lean's bell sounds. Chrono, we can't keep asking my father for help. You need to hold down a job. Chrono! 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 Chrono? Chrono? Chrono! Chrono, awake? Isla? Isla wants to see Chrono. Go Mystic Mountain. You there. Fall down. Hurt. Isla, carry back hut. Magus. Big Frog, present? For Isla, eat? Perish the thought. But what of the pale-faced man in the cape? Was he not with us? No, um, only find you. Cape one more tasty? So he has fled. But if Magus didn't create Lavos, then where did it come from? Lavos? You no worry. You rest. Hurt bad. <laughs> I love the simplicity of just how they speak. Chrono, okay now? Isla busy. Uh, try find La Ruba village. Uh, find a village. Fight reptites together. Big fight. Last fight. Beat all reptites. Or reptites, beat all. <clears throat> Kino! What? What's wrong? Chrono rest. You be quiet. North wood. Fire. Burn. Big burn. Oh, well, that could be a problem. Actually, you know what? I should, I should save. Why isn't the menu button working? Okay, there we go. From the Fiend Lord's Keep to Forward to the Past. Well, <laughs> yeah, so when I was saying whatever before about how, you know, yeah, questioning if I could actually go to the hidden forest or hidden village. Yeah. Reptites take Kino. Reptites try kill all. Reptites kill all. Try stop reptites. Uh, what do now? Well, sounds like we have to kill them back. Reptites follow Isla. Isla, bad luck. This is also where you start to see something really cool in this game. People fight. Reptites kill all. Myla, this your fault. Look at village. Reptites follow you. Now village ruined. Myla, Myla, sorry. Reptite strong, live long before us, so we hide, but Isla say fight together. Isla still say fight now? Isla alive, Isla fight. Win, live, lose, die, that rule, no one, no can change rule. Old man breathe, but dead inside. <clears throat> Myla strong, so Isla make big talk. We not strong. No, strong, fight, get more strong. Isla help, but now need Dactyl. Give Dactyl. Dactyl? Go Tyranno Layer? Tyranno Layer Reptite Castle. Danger. Even Isla danger. Isla once die? 
No, one to live, so go. Isla, be okay. Give Dactyl. Hmm, <laughs> yes. Give Dactyl. Elder, tell Keeper, so go Dactyl Nest. Isla, be careful. Elder, big help. You take care, Isla. New fight, so reptites mad. I mean, I guess that is one way of looking at it. But the problem is, if you don't at least try and stop them, what's to keep them from just doing it again? I'm trying to think. Hey, you know what? We'll be fine. Actually, wait, is our health? Okay, no, no. The game did heal us. Do I? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I will actually do a save. I don't remember if there are any fights between us and the Dactyl. Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> right on cue. Uh, so these little rock dudes... Actually, you know what? I just need to hide from the ape real quick. These little rock dudes will actually... Okay, now I just don't move. <laughs> and hope that it... Ah, damn it. I was gonna say, hope that it's sight is vision uh is vision based but you know what we're fine we can just do a quick ice water and that should deal with everything hell yeah now these rock guys oh my god you lived why did you live how did you live okay there we go eh, only nine tp okay then that means those rock guys aren't the same ones. There's an enemy in an area. Oh my god, wait. Is that just this area? Oh my god. The area that we find the enemies that I was just about to talk about, basically they look like those rock guys, and they're a nightmare to kill? But they give you a ton of technical points. It's actually probably the best place in the game to farm for them. But I just realized the location that those guys are at might just be this location in the future. I'm not going to say anything more than that because, you know, potential spoilers. But that was just kind of an odd eye-opening moment. Right, you were back alive. Okay, well... I should be able to do this a little... Damn it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> We're not getting around that. And you know what? I could run from them. But I think we'll also be fine if we don't. Actually, wait a minute. Is Chrono... What level is Chrono? He might have rolled over to level 20 by now. Okay, he is, which means Specchio should have changed forms. Oh, what is this? Right, the flying guys. <laughs> These guys look so weird. I kind of love them, though. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get a cure going, because again... We might no longer be dealing with the Dark Lord, but we still need to stay on top of the simple process of not dying. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, physical must be just fine then. Okay, we're good. There are some enemies who, from here on out, will kind of start to be a little color-coded. Because... The thing is, some enemies will be healed by the elemental color that basically they are. And other ones will actually take massive damage from them. So, I'm going to have to play around a little bit. Which means I'm actually going to have to start paying attention. Okay, let's just grab this. 
Mid potion? Hell yeah. And let's... Oh god. Can I not? Okay, no, no, no. There we go. <laughs> We're just gonna let those little guys, you know, basically take a nap. Oh no. Oh, and this guy is right in front of the thing, too. Which means unless... Oh my god, we still can. Hell yeah. But yeah, um, back at the village I was saying something that you can start to see something really cool in this game. You can start to tell a lot of people's ancestry by the color of their hair. You know, it's, uh... You can already see it a lot, like, personality-wise, but Isla and Meryl are both, you know, very headstrong. Or I should say, strong-willed. Would probably be, you know, a better word to use. But you can start to see little bits like that. You know, for example, the people with purple hair, they basically said that they're not very strong. And, and you know, who else kind of fits that description, even if just a little bit? Right. Oh, right. Heal heals everybody. God, that would have been so nice to have before Magus. Which, to be fair, I have no one to blame but myself. But, yeah. But, yeah, if you think about Luca, you know, we've already gone back in time and basically seen her ancestors who talk about wanting to have uh, basically a daughter who's as beautiful as she is intelligent. And you can kind of see, like, little bits kind of like that. Obviously not a lot of, like, the townsfolk are going to reflect all of that. Just because, you know, they had limited storage space for, like, sprites and stuff, so they had to reuse a lot of things. But with, like, the main characters, you can start to see a lot of that. And I think that's really, really cool. Chrono? You better not even think about going without us. No, uh, Tyranno lay your danger. You know come, maybe I'll die. If it's that dangerous, then we definitely can't let you go alone. You've done a lot for us, Isla. Now it's payback time. Right, Chrono? Isla, Isla have good friend. Come on, Isla. Let's go to the Ty let's go to Tyranno Lair. Hey, and we get more Dactyl. Hell yeah. Uh, now for the... You know what? No, no. We need haste. That one move is quite literally going to be my crutch for the rest of this game. Oh, look. Another animation. And here we are. <laughs> yeah, this is so cool. We just get little dactyls that we can basically fly anywhere. Although I do, real quick, need to check my inventory because, you know, new party member and all. Ooh, we could give her the mist robe. You know what, for now, let's absolutely take that. Okay, we don't have better helmets, though. Uh, again, giving her strength-wise, uh, she's at 90. Okay, so yeah, she's still, she still massively outclasses and completely dwarfs everyone else. Oh my god, 56 evasion? <laughs> we could just make sure that she never gets hit. Actually, to be fair... I don't know how the evasion calculations work, but I am pretty certain that double 
is at least uh, statistically better than not doubled. Then again, we could also give her the silver earring. Because, again, then she would just be an unstoppable tank. Actually, who am I kidding? Look at her health. She is already an unstoppable tank. Actually, she also has really good magic defense. Uh, okay, maybe not that great of magic defense. And then again, we could give Chrono the power scarf. I mean, it would just be a direct upgrade anyway. But I think I kind of... Eh, you know what? Screw it. We're giving, we're giving Chrono uh, Isla's scarf. But that now... Actually, wait, can we? Yeah, we can access the world map. But yeah, this, this mountain thing over here. Just, you know, keep that in mind for a certain place in a different time. Anyway... Reptite layer. I'm trying to think if there's anywhere else I want to go. Actually, to be fair, there's not really anywhere else that we can go. So, yeah. Quick save. And it's Reptite time. Why are there apes? Oh, hi. Um, if you could stop that, I'd appreciate that. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to do it. There's... A really, really cruel joke. Oh. Did they take prisoners? Well, you know what? What are we doing? Uh, you two attack. And then we can just go ahead and get Akira going. But yeah, there's kind of like a really cruel joke that one of the programmers of this game basically decided to put into the game. And to be fair, I don't know if it was intentional or if it was just an accident, but I'd like to believe that it was just a really, really cruel joke. But, you know, we'll get to it eventually for the sheer reason that we have no choice but to get to it eventually. All right, well, those guys are free. <laughs> Hope they'll have a, a plenty fun time with those apes that we left behind. I actually didn't even think about that, but it's fine. You know, we could also just do one of these. But yeah, the way that, like, the, the way that this game kind of flows in difficulty I really, really like. And again, maybe I shouldn't be saying this just because I am, you know, basically giving myself a massive handicap. Actually, several massive handicaps. But the way that this game goes from, like, these really difficult areas to these not-so-difficult areas as they kind of, like, slowly build up and continuously escalate in this, like, basically in this cycle of just rising, easing down a little bit, and just continuously escalating like that. It makes for kind of a really cool flow. Moments to have, like, these intense combat moments. And then moments to kind of calm down and tell a little bit of story. Also, this music. Give it a second to build up. Yeah, I love this song. I mean, you know, shocker. I've said that about almost every song in the game, but yeah. Um... We're about to have a feast, and you're about to be the roast beast. <laughs> oh, it's the apes! Yeah, about that roast beef. Actually, wait a minute. Does Isla have drill kick? Uh, 
Okay, that's only a single. Oh my god. Okay, Operation Save Chrono. Uh, no, what are you doing? Damn it. Okay, well, I have no one to blame but myself for that. You know what? That just means we have to break out the ice and stuff. But yeah, these guys are actually pretty simple. They just do physical damage. We were dealing with all of this, like, you know, all of these mental gymnastics of basically, you know, magic defense, physical defense, elemental matching, like, you know, all of this stuff. And then it just calms down really nicely. You know, basically what I was saying before, but it applies to more than just, uh, you know, combat alone. Actually, no, I guess that is quite literally still just combat, isn't it? Right, I guess I should say, it's not just difficulty, it's also, like, you know, mental strain as well, I guess. Okay, anyway, that just happened. Feel like an absolute dumbass, but you know what? That's kind of just a normal state of being at this point. And there's no changing that. How you doing, Kino? Isla! Kino, move! Kino, move back! Isla, save Kino! Isla, there's a button right next to the door. <laughs> Isla, what are you doing? Isla, is this... <laughs> really not necessary, but at the same time, it's why we love Isla. Wow! Kino, Kino, sorry. All Kino fault. It okay. Kino, take Laruba person. Run. What, what Isla do? Strong live, weak die. Isla, go be strong. Kino, Kino go too. No, Kino no come. Isla die. Kino knew I co chief. Isla. But yeah, remember everything that I said about her being just a little too headstrong, similar to Meryl? Yeah. If there was any doubt, <laughs> that entire stunt right there, I feel like should at least silence that doubt. I list strong, no lose. Kino, Kino, no. Kino, show you something. Follow Kino. In just a second, my dude. Because I need that mid-ether. Alright, buddy. Where are you going? Oh, he's gonna show the thing. Okay. Oh, hey. The apes are gone. You strong. Kino weak. Kino jealous. That's... Well, yeah. Well, no, like, I, I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I guess there's no... Oh, God, how do I want to do this? But yeah, I think the, the cruel developer joke is something that actually comes later in a place that looks kind of similar to this. Actually, no, I guess we do... I'm not going to say what I was about to say. Actually, future me, maybe just edit out a few words of what I started to say. You know what? Let's try this. Ah, damn it. We basically have to fight these guys no matter what, so... Yeah. Okay, actually, you know what? Isla, you can go and get started on the little dude. Meanwhile... Meryl can finish this guy off. And then, we basically just unload on the other dude. I mean, we should literally just be able to spam these, and he should be dead? Ooh, maybe not quite. <laughs> but again, just due to the whole thing about, you know, basically, like, hit-stunning because of the turn order. Or I guess like the 
the the turn cue, whatever it's called. I, yeah. That should give us plenty of an advantage, I hope. Oh, wait. That was the right way. But yeah, basically we can hit these buttons and we kind of get like a little bit of interaction with, you know, the map itself. The thing is, though, we're going down, you know, where we basically just dropped them. And now we got to fight them. Yeah, I could have easily avoided that, but you know what? It's fine. Actually, you know what? I just need to start off with just doing a regular attack, like, every time. Because, again, it'll just help buy a little bit of time, if anything. God, every time I actually have, like, time to pause and think in combat, my mind immediately goes to just how screwed up the, uh, uh, what's it called? Basically how screwed up the aspect ratio in this is. Because, like, we're kind of just bunched up all the way at the bottom of the screen. And it just feels really awkward. But again, in the original, like, 4-3 or 3-4, whatever aspect ratio of this game, that didn't really exist. Everything was, like, much better centered. And not necessarily just, like, panned, you know, down or to the right. But also, like, actually, I feel like zoomed in significantly in some areas. Oh, no. Well, you know what? As long as I don't spring the same trap again, we should be fine. Obtain a high potion. Hell yeah. And the thing is, these guys did respawn, so... Oh, I guess I didn't step on it. So we might as well do one of those. Oh god, now this... I remember being a nightmare. Because... Teleporting... Okay, we got the potion. Wait, is that really it? Oh. Okay, well, we're not approaching from that way, then. Ooh, Triceratops Stopper. Wait, Stopper or Topper? Uh, Triceratops Topper. Oh, because, you know, it's a hat. So, like, top. Yeah, it's <laughs> really dumb, but kind of kind of funny, I guess. Anyway, let's give that to Meryl, because, again, lowest defense. God, I love this music. Okay, you know what? I don't remember where all of the teleports are. I just remember that some of them we have to trigger in some very weird ways. Because, like, each area does take us to a different area. I just don't remember... It's like we had to go backwards through something, I think. Hey, yeah, there we go. An Athenian water, hell yeah. Now the question is... How do we get to this one? It's more of a case of... Oh. Right, I forgot there are fights. Hey, Isla got a level. Cat attack? Ooh, Thunder Chomp. Our first lightning-based dual tech. How do I get over there? I thought I remembered having to step on, like, a very specific tile. Oh. No? No? 
There we go. Obtained a ma uh Obtained a Mesoic mail. Actually, wait, can we give that to Meryl? Oh, that's actually worse than the mist robe. All right, well. Yeah, there's some weird times where it's like armor diverts between gender types and then other times where it doesn't. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see if we can just get through this without doing too much combat. I know there will be some, but yeah. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, right. These assholes. Actually, that doesn't really do that much damage. I was gonna say, if we can kill them before they can do this exactly, then we should be fine. But again, that's not even that big of a deal. This, however... Oh, no, that's still not that bad. Okay, buddy? Uh, you know what? Let's just get around to kisses going. Dude. Chill. Okay, you know what? You're getting the damn lightning. And if you somehow survive that, the rest of us are coming for you. Ah, I should have actually saved the magic for these guys. Oh. Right, I forgot they counter when they die. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... I've already accepted the fact that I'm gonna have to heal after this anyway. Oh my god! <laughs> Meryl! Damn! Of everyone to... Uh, you know... Uh, of the race to break the... Uh, you know, basically the, the limit of damage that we can make... I was not expecting you to be the one to, you know, make the most progress on that. I feel like I said that in the most... The, the weirdest way I possibly could, but... Again, it's like 4 a.m. My brain is barely functioning. Okay, let's get all of that. And we should be good. Oh, this is it, isn't it? No? Okay. We don't need to boop the snoot. Uh, let's go for this one. Hey, there we go. But that should open the thing. And I'm pretty certain the other button just drops enemies on us. So, yeah. Actually, wait a minute. Okay, no, no. It's just like a big rooftop terrace, I guess. Is that the right word? I'm not sure. Oh, no escaping. All right, well, you know what? We're just gonna have Isla go full cat attack. <laughs> I love that that is just a move that she has, though. How did they both survive that? What the hell? All right, well, you know what? If we can't kill them easily, that just means we'll have to kill the things that they're abusing. Oh, yeah, of course he does one damage. Bet you he'll do a lot more than that to us, though. Okay, let's do another one of those. And then we can just go regular attacks. Because it doesn't look like that other guy's at... Oh, lightning heals him. Oh, that's wonderful. Alright, buddy. Chill. <laughs> at least hit at least hit the guy who woke you up I mean come on okay you know what maybe we'll just get a couple kisses going around and we'll work from there god we are getting a lot of technical points I don't suppose we have anything good coming up. Lightning 2. 
Uh, I mean, that will be good. It'll just be more powerful lightning. Ah, uh, boulder toss. Yeah, so the way that we saw other enemies throwing us around, Isla can start to throw them around. So, yeah. Uh, and then we got ice too, so... I guess we don't have anything that crazy coming up. Aerial strike would be good. Protect? Actually, that is... In combination with haste, because you can actually stack all of these, like, uh, I guess, buffs. That can be kind of good. Robo tackle. Actually, you know what? Everything Robo has is, like, outstanding. Uh, and we can't see anything about, I guess, dual text, so that's fine. I mean, I know that they're unlocked with, um,. We'll deal with him in just a second. Uh, basically, we uh, we can unlock a bunch of... Basically, we unlock dual techs by unlocking, like, regular ones. And then as long as two characters have the correct ones to combine, that's how you unlock dual techs. Anyway, thank you for waiting so patiently, my dude. Let's do this. Nah, looking for Azala. She's just through here. Oh, well, thank you. That's actually quite kind of you, good sir. Because now we can get all healed up. The question is, actually, you know, it's only one MP. It's not like it's even that big of a deal. And, hey, you know what? Yeah, let's just save. I was thinking about using a shelter or ethers, but I think we're fine for now. Anyway, let's go meet Azala. As... Azala? Azala. I think it's Azala. I'm already spacing. Hold it! When I said she's through there, I meant you gotta get through me first. What... what did you think I was flexing my muscles and looking all intimidating for? <laughs> I love dumb things like that in games. Okay, you know what? I believe this is basically the same strategy as before. You know, Thunder Chop would have actually been way better, but whatever. We can get a cat attack going. Because, yeah, this time we basically just have much more powerful abilities. And to be fair, they are golden now. Oh, no, no, this is different then. Okay, so yeah, we still need to alternate between magic and uh, physical stuff. So you know what? Let's just focus on getting those hastes going. Except Meryl could use a quick kiss. So you know what, Isla? You're on Meryl kissing duty. Actually, who am I kidding? She's on everyone kissing duty. Okay. We just need one more haste. Okay, you know what? Let's... Game, why are you like this? Get another kiss going, and then we can do an aura wheel. And we should be looking really, really good. Okay. Well... Actually, you know what? Let's just get one of these going, because, again, Aura Whirl. That is a move that I believe gets more and more powerful over time. So, yeah. Wait. Did that say magic, or...? I mean, that should have said... I mean, either way, this will reset it, so... Yeah, defense boosted, so then magic time. And the thing is, we should really be having our Doom Slayer over here. Oh. Okay, well, you know what? Oh, that might be death. Oh, no, no, not quite. Not quite. I mean that we can go in... Actually, I should do a drill kick. That'll be really good purely physical. 
Oh, no, 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 I forgot. Okay, I'm misunderstanding. He doesn't swap between barriers. Every time we hit him with something, that defense, whether it's physical or magic, rises. And by hitting him with lightning, we reset that, um, that I guess both of those defenses. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Don't die, don't. Yeah, okay, yeah, no, that's... God, please don't die. She's dead. All right, well, there goes our heaviest hitter. Actually, you know what? I am just gonna reset this. So I'm just gonna let him end me real quick. I really need to save those Athenian waters, so... Yeah. I'm just not gonna... Not gonna waste those. Now that I actually remember how this fight works, this should be significantly easier. I mean, I guess I was accidentally doing the right thing. I, I basically was thinking of like the jugglers from Magus's castle. Let's get this drill kick at the, actually, you know what? How much does cat attack do? Ooh, okay, well. That just means, oh, really? All right, well. <laughs> that is a guaranteed wipe then. And again, if anyone's playing this, there is absolutely no penalty to using Athenian waters or anything like that. I am just doing this solely because I am stubbornly deciding to not buy any items. So the two Athenian waters I have I'm gonna need for something that's coming up, so that's the only reason why I'm doing this. There is absolutely zero reason to do it otherwise. And you know what? Maybe we can just get these two kind of just going a little crazy on them while we get the hastes up. Because again, it might not be Actually, no, no, for this fight, that might actually be kind of optimal. The only thing we will have to worry about is this. And again, if we are too low on health when he gets the discharge up, that is also going to be a problem. I'm just going to have to keep track of the amount of lightnings that we use. Uh, defense boosted. I was not paying attention to how much damage that did. But we get the final haste up, and we should be looking really good. Damn it, I meant to... It's amazing. All I have to do is look at a number, and that is it. And I am just not capable of doing that right now. Here. Okay. Okay, cat attack. Let's see how much of this does. If it's not at least four to 500, I'm just not gonna waste the MP. Oh my God, that is horrible. Okay, well that means... Wait. Uh, who needs a kiss? Isla needs a kiss. To be fair, Meryl... To be fair, I guess Meryl does too. But we're fine for now. Okay, let's do one of those. And I'm thinking maybe I'll have Isla on... Strict healing duty for now. Oh, no. Okay, no, no, we'll live. I was planning on doing that anyway, so. I guess that means it doesn't matter how many times we do that. All that really matters is, I guess just how many turns of his have passed. Okay, but let's get another one of these going. Okay, we need to get heals up on these guys immediately. And again, we're just gonna have, I guess, both of the ladies just sticking on healing duty right now because I don't think we really have too much of a choice, to be honest. Actually, you know what? Let's see what this does. Oh my god. That's the way that we do this then. And you know what? If that means that we just 
have to take things a little slower, then that's fine. Because again, sitting back and having two healers, it's never bad. It just means that you're not quite doing as much offense. But to be honest, I don't think I have much of a choice. So, yeah. Uh, that's gonna hurt, but whatever. Uh, let's get that up on Meryl. If anything, Meryl cannot die. Actually, no, no. No one can die. Okay, you do one of those. That way you can do one of those. Actually, you know what? I think we're looking pretty good. So, lightning. Then... Who needs health the most? Chrono is down about 120. Isla is 9 less than 100. Actually, no, 109. And... You know... I actually think topping Meryl off might be the best. For now. Because a quick kiss and Chrono should be basically fine. Well, that's going to be a problem then. Okay, but we are alive. And you know what? Just an emergency or a whirl? Oh my god. That never gets any less scarier. Okay, now... Actually, you know what? Maybe one more aura world just to be on the safe side. And then maybe also just another kiss because I was not expecting him to do that. Although it does make sense. We haven't attacked him in a little bit. We need to do at least something to occupy him a little bit. Okay, let's get one of those. And then, you know what? I should get another round of hastes going. Actually, no, no, I should be fine for one more pass. Okay, we just need to get this ice sword off. Come on. I, I, I can see that... Oh, are we... We're out of mana. Okay, well, you know what? In that case, ice. Um, ether on Chrono. Okay, we'll get another one of these, and then we will begin the next round of uh, healing. After this, after this next uh, electric discharge, though, I am gonna have to basically make sure everyone has haste. And you know what? Let's just get an aura whirl, just to be on the safe side. I know this discharge is coming. So let's just try and be safe. And you know what? Maybe another, maybe just an ice for now. I am also going to have to give Meryl some more MP. Okay. Now... Hey, you know what? You know what? Lightning and then ice sword. Uh... Isla. Go ahead and give uh, some MP, and then... Okay, this is it. We need to do an immediate Auro Whirl. And then, I guess, can just go crazy with the kisses. And then again, we need to make sure that haste stays up. In the meantime, Chrono can go ahead and give everyone a little bit more MP. At least everyone who needs it. Uh, Isla needs to stay on kissing duty. 
I mean, to be honest, that's probably what she's just going to be doing for the majority of this fight. So, yeah, nothing really changing there, I guess. And then another Aether for Meryl. Because, again, she's going to be constantly using that. Okay, let's get one of these. And then, you know what? Meryl will need a cure immediately after this. And I'm debating... You know what? I'm not planning on using a shelter after this. So, we might as well keep our MP kind of, I guess, half full, at least. It's one of the things I really like about this game is just, I guess the numbers feel good, if that makes sense. You don't burn through MP, like, super quick. I mean, you can later on, but that's only after you have, like, a ton of MP to actually spare. Ooh, 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 that's bad. Okay. You know what? It is now time just to top everybody off and go back on the offensive. Again, I probably could have waited, like, one more discharge before hasting. I kind of just want to be safe, though. Okay, you know what? You, lightning. You, uh, kiss. You, cure. Yeah, now that I think about it, bringing Frog along for this actually would have been really good just for the group heal. But, eh, you know, a little too late for that now. Okay, now we need to do Ice Sword. Meanwhile, Isla you know, big shocker here, is going to be doing another kiss. Too bad we can't have, like, a group kiss. That has to be a really, really good, <laughs> I guess, utility for that. Okay, what are we doing now? Uh, kissing Isla, that's what we're doing. Another one of those. You know, I could probably actually do two ice swords in a row and be fine. But, yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Although, Meryl's looking like she could use a quick kiss. So let's get that set in motion. And... I think we're Ice Sword time. Again, I think I'm just gonna start doing two of those each time. Yeah, 700 and then five. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Yeah, I knew this one was going to take a while. Just because, uh, again, it, it just due to the nature of how this fight works, it was just like with the big cycles that it runs through, it's kind of just to be expected. Anyway, we have to cure the hell out of everyone. Oh, actually, Meryl's already full health. Cool. I don't suppose we're any closer to getting any good stuff. Eh. I mean, we are. It just doesn't look like it. Okay. Time to burn through an uncomfortable amount of ethers. Actually, then again, we do have 22 mid-ethers. Which recovers... 30, so... Yeah. The e the the mid ethers I the mid ethers I do not want to burn through. Or I like I don't want to overfill. Not that it uh, again matters at all. I'm just being weird about it. But I, I don't know. When it comes to the magic, that I do not want to waste. A heal Potions? Yeah, that's fine. I have no remorse about basically burning through those mid-combat. Oh, hi there, buddy. Uh, if you could just, you know, stop existing, that'd be really, really nice for me. I can't remember, does Ice heal these guys or was that the other ones? 
Okay, no, no, we're fine. But yeah, this way, again, because since Meryl has that um, basically MP reduction, even her most powerful uh, current heal that she has, it only costs one MP. Oh god, no. <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, you know what? Let's get a cat attack, and then... I guess then we can get an ice. The thing is, I have to kill one of these guys. If not, we're just gonna be in for a really bad time. It'll basically just be cutting the amount of uh, damage we take in half. But yeah, because Meryl's Cure, it only costs one MP with the damage reduction, I'm really not gonna be too shy about throwing those around like crazy. Unfortunately, though, that kind of means that basically... Wait, what did I just... Yeah, you know what, it doesn't matter. Um, MP, though, that's going to be the one thing that I cannot spare whatsoever. And again, everyone can throw potions out at basically any time. But not everyone can heal. So, because of that, I really want to make my MP go as far as possible. And again, it is very easy just to overfill everybody on health. Okay, no attack, please, and we're good. Oh no, this is the one. Yeah. <laughs> That's a thing. Okay, we got the high ether. Now the thing is... I think it's the left one. Nope. <laughs> okay, well... So much for trying to minimize experience. Actually, then again... The other thing I could do is just reload. I did save after that Nisbel fight, right? I think I did. Yeah, you know what? I think it'll be fine for this one. But yeah, that Nisbel fight was basically like a midway boss. Actually, I guess it was a little bit over midway, but from here on out, everything else starts hitting a lot harder. So, we kind of just got to be a little bit more careful. But, since we're here, we might as well hit all of the buttons. Do I want to use that? You know what, that should be fine. But yeah, since I'm just deciding to be a little dumb, let's just go ahead and save there. Again, we'll just call it 5 a.m. madness. <laughs> so yeah, that was the one that I was hoping, because if you hit that and then you drop the enemies, they just fall straight down the pits. The thing is, you don't get the save. So... It's not really that big of a deal. Do I have to fight these guys again? I don't. Okay. But that means we're here. At last, the final confrontation. It was but a matter of time. Will it be reptiles who inherit the earth or you soft-skinned apes? Oh, game. Why do you do this? Strong live, weak die. Isla, Isla just fight. God, I love how simple she is. <laughs> I mean, you can tell there's like at least a little bit of depth. There's some intelligence behind what she's saying. But I still just love like the straight to the point nature of how she speaks. 
It's something that, like, I've always really appreciated with people, let alone, you know, characters. Hear that lovely voice? You, you'll soon be hearing more of it than you would ever wish. I think I accidentally swapped her voice, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> but you know what? Now we can sit in the throne. Actually, wait a minute. Before I forget, I do need to equip that. Okay, yeah, Isla still has insane defense. And do we have any other improvements or anything? Because I don't think we do. Oh, wait a minute. This fight... I might actually want to switch back to the ruby vests for this. Again, defense is going to be way down. But honestly... I don't think I'm going to have that much of a choice. Actually, you know what? Who am I kidding? I don't think the third eye does anything. But we could boost her speed. She is almost the fastest character. Actually, later on, she, without question, is... The oh my god. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright, you know what? It's gonna be a little reckless, I suppose. But, I mean... Have I been playing this game any other way? Why change things up now? Anyway, let's see what was up. Oh, that's a big dinosaur. Uh, that damnable red star... Fall, why don't you? Stain the earth red. Even should it prove our fate to die, we will not relinquish this world to the likes of you. This black tyranno will have the honor of wiping you filthy eights from existence forever. <laughs> All right, now this is where things are going to be very, very bad. Because I do not remember entirely how this fight works. I just remember that there's a lot of fire involved. Actually, you know what? Haste. That needs to be my first move. Okay, that does 12. Oh, uh, God, again. I don't remember this thing's strengths and weaknesses. Oh, wait, who am I kidding? We need to kill Izala. Not the black, not the Tyranno. Okay, what does this do? 11? <laughs> oh no. Actually, I think we need to hit him with ice. Actually, I was kind of hoping that we'd have Falcon Strike by now. Because I think that's the way that... Oh no. It's probably going to hurt. Actually, not that bad. Okay. Then again, I could just be building this up way worse in my head. And buddy, don't eat that. I need her. <laughs> She's keeping us all from dying. Which, to be fair, is probably the exact reason why you would want to kill her. Okay, stop that. God, Isla's kiss is already doing way more than it was. Yeah, realistically, this is probably just going to be like a bit of a, a bit of a test run, I guess. Because again, I need to find this guy's weaknesses. Let's see what this does. 35. Oh, no, no, no. I remember how to do this now. I think we need to kill Izala, or at least focus on Izala. And then when, basically, the Tyranno starts charging up for a, a move that will probably obliterate me. Um, 
that's when we want to do other stuff. Okay, let's try an ice on on Zala. What does this do? 307. That's pretty good. What does Thunder do? Uh, not quite as good. No, no sleep. Actually, as long as it's not Isla, we'll be fine. Okay, there we go. Oh, well, that's gonna wake him up anyway. Does he lose haste? No, he does not lose haste from that. Actually, wait, is that enough? Eh, we'll just give him another kiss and he'll be fine. Oh, that's gonna confuse him, isn't it? Ooh, nope. Okay, good. That's pretty good. Now the question is, do I want to burn through the MP with dual techs? Or would I rather do single hits? Actually, then again, I th Oh, no. Here we go. Uh, I'm trying to think. Let's see if this actually... Yeah, okay, his defense is down for this then. At least I think it is. I mean, again, I could always just be misremembering everything. Okay, he's at four. Let's try a cleave just to see what physical stuff does. Ooh, actually, that's pretty good. Everyone's full on health, or at least close to. Yeah, okay. Does this do damage? No, no, it just, it's just, it's just, a, it's just a scare. Actually, you know, uh, next time, next time, I'll basically do a thunder chomp. Yeah, I don't think this is so much like a weakness thing, as much as it is a, uh, what would you call it? More of just like, when to attack kind of thing. Oh my god! Okay, Thunder Chomp is the way to go then. That is beautiful damage. Let's do another one of those, and then just to be safe. I think if anyone can take whatever is about to hit us, it's gonna be Isla. But this is still gonna hurt, like, really, really badly. And here we go. All right. Either way, Meryl's getting that first cure. Nothing will change that. Ooh. Okay, nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. And you know what? Let's actually get an ether on Chrono. Okay, so now we got to go back to Azala. Uh, I think think physical attacks were basically fine. Please don't confuse. I think it has a chance to. Okay, no, 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 we're fine. Wait, 91? Oh, no, no, I think we need to strike with a few thunder moves to soften her up. Oh, no, okay, she just has really high physical defense then. Which means a thunder chomp might actually be even better. And then we can just have Meryl do her own magics. Let's see. Yeah, we are going to need a cure immediately, though. Oh, don't hit Chrono. Okay, you know what? Isla can take a boulder to the face. <laughs> she is plenty strong enough for that. Okay, uh, another Thunder Chomp. And she will need a cure after this. <laughs> like Isla is strong, don't get me wrong, but you can only you can only survive so many boulders before, you know, basically you stop surviving them. Okay, another thunder chomp. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. Oh, I think, uh, you know, actually I should, yeah. Meryl lost her haste. I complete. Oh no, she still has it. I mean, either way, I do need to refresh them. And 
you know what? Let's just get as many of these as possible. Uh, you know what? You know what? Mid ether on Isla. I'd basically just be burning through. Oh, wait. I think that means she's dead. Okay. The queen is dead. Which means now Isla is the only queen in this land. I'm trying to think what I need to do. Um, actually, you know what? Lowers defense and starts... Okay. This... Needs to go to Chrono. Everyone is basically full on health. I could be safe... And give that to Meryl. So, I think I will. Then... Yeah, we're just gonna get another Thunder Chomp. And we just have to unload. I actually thought this fight was gonna be significantly harder. But, I, I guess... I don't know. I guess I was just building up in my head a lot more. I, I don't think it also helped that I kind of forgot the mechanics involved. Up until now. Or I guess... Actually, I guess, no, I did remember them fairly early on. I wasn't certain if that was the case, but I think the, the realization came at just the right time. All right, buddy. You should be dying any moment now. Actually, no, I think if I remember right, the actual Tyranno has like a crazy amount of health. I want to say it's like 23,000-ish. And, eh, you know what? It'll be fine. We're all at full health. And it didn't do that much damage. I mean, to be fair, it's a fire attack, and that ruby armor does cut fire damage in half. So it could be significantly worse. But let's maybe just get an aura whirl. Just, you know, just to be safe. And then we basically just heal up and wait for the next round. <laughs> um, I can focus down the hastes again. Because, again, I kind of forgot I was doing that. I look and keep the kissing up. And I guess Chrono's just going to stand there and wait. Not really too much he can do. Uh, then again, he could fill M... Uh, no, we're fine on MP. For now, at least. Oh, we're going. Okay, okay. I was not expecting that to happen quite so soon. But then again, I guess without Izala, this is really all that the boss can do. Which means... We're basically just gonna watch a cave woman basically just rip a, uh, what is he? Basically a Tyrannosaurus, basically limb from limb. This is basically just gonna be an absolute slaughter. <laughs> and it's basically just gonna go until he decides to just lay down and die. what? Let's get a couple ethers going. Oh, hey! <laughs> we got to save the ether. Hell yeah! There's a level. Oh, Izala. You're not dead yet. No, it can't be. Could the heavens truly have sided with the apes? Uh, listen, primates, and let it be known for all of time that we reptites fought proudly to the bitter end. Isla, Isla, no. 
Huh? Oh, yes. The Red Star. First, a great fiery stone will crash to the earth. Its flames will soon spread to scorch every corner of the land. Then, the chill will begin to creep across the blackened plains, ushering in a long, cruel age of ice and snow. <laughs> a fitting end to our age, indeed. <laughs> Lavos. What? Ah, uh, could this be? What Magus was referring to? Isala's red star and the destroyer of the world to be? Isla people word. La mean fire. Vos mean big. Myla. Kino? Hurry, Lavos falls soon. All right, Dactyl. Kino, hurry. Isla, what do you do? Come, Isala, come. No, this will be the end of the earth. Huh? Isla, hurry. Isala. Isla, Isla not forget. Take. Take? What's take? Take care of this world. one of the things that always gets me about them is yes they're like in a brutal war against each other but it's not without respect both for each other and the world around them it's just so i don't know weird to think about 